do folks back for another one y'all already know what it is your guy dope the phenom aka trippy og here with me special guest i got my guy juan from connecticut my guy ct town what's up bro uh, what's up man folks, man what's up? how you doing i'm good I'm, I'm pissed at tom right now i'm very pissed at him like it's nothing more of, yo, you just got to understand that this starting unit is just not it. Like, just let it go. Like, switch it up. Time to switch it up. You don't got to trade anybody, but you got to switch it up, bro. Trippy, I think they got to have a little time to gel. It's only 13 games in. Correct me if I'm wrong. We're what, seven and six? Yeah, we're seven and six right now. I think we need more time. I, who, what, would, what would be your starting lineup? With me personally, I just feel like Kimba and Evan do not need to be meshing well in the starting lineup together, right? So if it was uh, yeah. me, if it was me, knowing how Tom is, I personally feel like he would end up slotting probably Alex Burks to that starting point guard role, right? A lot of people are favoring IQ. I would like IQ to be that spot. But I just don't see Tom doing that right now at this moment. So if you're going to keep it on some trust your veterans, how he always stamps it, we've seen how, you know, Alex Burks can play the one guard, you know, from a couple of games of last year. So Alex would slide to the one. You would get a yeah. – you would get a – I would say you would get a backcourt of – I'll tell you, if you're throwing me off already. Alex Burks I'm, I'm starting one right two. now. But I, I'm, I'm going to get you keep, keep going. I'll get you into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you got Alex Burks there. Where Alex yep. Burks going to the point, you are gonna have it to where now, you got the backcourt of now D Rose and Kimba, right? But with Kimba, he's gonna split minutes with IQ. So whatever range of minutes IQ got, they will split those minutes, and then you okay. slot in Grimes to sit there and back up. Mm -hmm. I like Grimes. So that's the only way that lineup is working for me. And that's the only yeah, way I yeah. see fit that would probably work for Tom because you still get your defense. You still get a person that still knows the starting unit. So that can start flowing out games a little bit better. And then you get your impact, you know, three trio guard tandem with the bench, you know, sliding in the chain. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's never really yeah. a slack point. I can follow you there. I follow you there. You see, I, I just think we need more time. I think we more not time to joke, but that's the thing. How much time are you going to give them? You know what I mean? You got you may have to switch it up at some point. To me, it's still a little bit early, a little bit early. But I, I can see, I can see where you're throwing at me there. I like that. All right. I like, oh. I like. Um, see, the Rose is the key. He's always Rose, the key. Rose is the key. If, if I feel like if Rose was. Got, knock on wood was to get hurt I, we would crumble i feel like we were we crumble so i feel like his man's gotta be watched honestly real quick my start on five i keep it where it's at why would why do you feel like that especially after what we've seen we see that the just the starting five doesn't mesh well now i'm not i'm not opposed to it like i feel like maybe it is just one of those situations where they actually do need more time uh, also too honestly I, I would maybe put Rose to start. I would maybe put Rose start and bring Kemba off the bench more. Barrett, Barrett's picking it up. Randall, see, we need a center, Trippy. We need a center. We need a center. We need a center. I'm not talking about, a, a, I saw that people post about a, a stretch five. We don't need no stretch five. Randall stretches for all the way out there. We need like Steven Adams, someone like Steven Adams. Just get down there, bang down low, and grab some boards. But if we were to get, like, a center on that type of caliber, right, which one of our centers would you let go? Would you let go of Mitch, or would you let go of yeah. Noel? I'm letting Mitch go. Oh. I, if I really, if it was one or the other, I would let go of Noel. Okay. Why Noel, you feel like Noel, Noel of all people? I don't know. Noel's always – he's playing good. Yo, he, he he locks down defense. He's playing well. I'll give the man his credit. But up until recently, he's been kind of bounty soft, like bounty paper towel soft, Trippy. He's kind of soft. But Mitch, although he got hurt, if he was healthy, I feel like he he, he has the – in the long in the long run, he's – I feel like he has a better potential than Noel. 
He honestly does. Like I get, I definitely get what you're saying. Like with, with Mitchell, he's still raw. He's still trying to get used to the weight gain that he added on, but he's still giving you productive minutes. He's still giving you everything that he can do, uh, showing you the, that he actually did put on the right strength. Just like I said before, trying to get used to it. Uh, a little bumps and bruises here and there, but the fact of he gives us those little scares, but comes back into the game. I love that, but it's still like, bro, you got to work on your balance or something. Like you got to yeah. work on how you land because you too yeah. old to be falling like that, man. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Yeah, no, exactly. But who who would you between the two? Um, it's crazy to say. I'm I'm probably gonna end up going to Noel back anyway, just for the mm. fact of. You have to sit there and also when you're doing a trade, you got to match up contracts. When it comes to Mitchell, his raw potential is something that you still don't want to give up on yet because he can yeah. get it going. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Now, I also agree with you, and this is what made me is, you know, made me lean towards the Noel situation more. Bro, you just you didn't play for like the first six, seven games. You came mm-hmm. back, you did you not, and you came back, and now you're doing your normal routine. You play two games, you get hurt, you out five, you come back one yeah. hurt for three. Like, bro, come on, bro, come on. Like, yep. we already know what we're gonna get when it comes to you. We know what type of player you are. You're a great player. You're actually getting a little bit better in certain circumstances, but we need you to be on this floor. Taj is too old to be doing all the stuff he's doing. Don't get me yeah, wrong, he's pulling. But he yeah, can't yeah. do it for so long. And yeah, we don't yeah, know yeah. how this organization is really, like, trusting Jericho Sims. Because yeah. he might be that – we might already have yeah. our center, our centers we need. And I'm not, not mad good. at it, but you got to give the kids yeah. some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I think that – I think the – you know, I think the whole thing with the team in general is time. 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 That's what I feel like I, that's what we need, honestly, right now. But, yo, if, if we're, like, 30 games in – and we're like 10 games below 500, then this conversation is going to be a lot different. I just think we need time because, you know, we're finally good. I've been watching the Knicks forever, and we've been garbage lately, garbage. Last year to make the playoffs, and this year to actually be, like, talked about, can't, you know, time, just a little bit of time. We're not used to it. You know, we're not used to it. I don't even think you know? that it's, it's the, really that they're not used to it part. I think with all of us, the reason why, you know, most Knicks fans are, like, on a 1 out of 10 scale for the panic mode, a lot are on 8. It's just because we're not playing our style of basketball. We decided to acquire two pieces, and now we're like this whole three, this three and gun team. Like, bro, we were never like that. There's no reason to start being like that. I get we're trying to, you know, make it comfortable for our two new additions, but that's taken away from what we are. If we already, we already took away from our defense by adding both of y'all. So why would we take away more from our game? Is the point that I'm not understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we see yeah, it time, and time again. It's it's annoying now. Like, how do you feel with these current games that you watch? Like, with the Cleveland game that we lost, the, with the Milwaukee game, the Charlotte game. These are games that we were clearly up at a point. Like, we were yeah. up. And we just keep losing them. And sadly, we keep losing them when the starting five is on the court or any oh. fraction of the starting five is on the court, meaning two or more. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. No, yeah, it's I, I laugh because I saw a thing today. Our starting five is the worst in the league. Our point, our point is something. You know, I'm not, I'm not a stat man, Trippy. I'm not a stat man. I'm not gonna quote numbers right now. But the yeah, point, no, of the, the, but the point of the thing was that yo, our starting five was the worst, plus minus whatever they call it. We were the worst. But man, I, I, I keep going back to it. Time. I'm hoping it's just time. But yo, we're in every game. I like that. We're at least in every game. It's the NBA. The best players play. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna. You see all the time. Teams are up 20. Five minutes later, they're down. You know, they're down 20. So I feel like it's just the way the ball rolls sometimes. I, it's just early for me too, Trippy. But, th- I mean, the games this week, the Bucks. you know they were going to come at us. Yeah. After, after, after getting them like that, what we were, what came back, we were down by like 20, you know? They, they were coming at us full force. Charlotte, man, Charlotte, Charlotte's a good squad. Yo, the East is good. The East is good. Charlotte's a good squad. LaMelo ball. I can't believe that. For real, he can ball. And then Philly. and then Philly, Philly man, I, that's why I hate hearing people trade for Simmons. 
you know, they're kind of, without him, they're falling off. So, I mean, we were in the games, like you said. I'm, I'm okay. It's So, we went one and three. I'm okay with it. But, you know. It's it's like I'm okay with it to a certain standstill. It's all right. If, if we already losing out, cool. Give it a fight. But it's like, all right, if you look at the Charlotte game, we had it. Once Tom, which made no sense, if your bench was thriving, and mind you, the last time we scored a legitimate bucket is when Obi did the windmill for the dunk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, bro, why did you divert from your bench when your bench had it going? It was no reason at that point in time to, to bring any starter in. Your bench already proved to you last game that they could seal the deal, but they got robbed. You get what I'm saying? Why would they not? Why yeah. would you go? Why would you leave from them? That's like a smack in the face to the bench. Like, bro, you don't trust us enough to like we didn't prove ourselves last game that we could close this game out. Like, that's the point. Yeah, that no, I'm looking at. Like, bro, you kind of you messing with the way your players play. And when you do certain things like that, like, yes, I get you need certain people like me. Yeah, you know, you want Randall to meet a certain stature or RJ, but bro, if they don't got it going that game and you claim we got all these weapons and we so deep. Let the team play. Yeah, yo, I, I can't disagree with anything you said there. Then it comes like you said with the lineup, man. He's yo, you said it perfectly. He's got to trust the bench because yo, they can play. They can play. Like you said, why? If they're the ones getting it done, why? Why change it? Why change it? But so I like and I like. How do you feel about our bench? Honestly, how do you like, how do you like Obi. I feel like Obi needs way more time than what he's getting. Yeah, like, man. I, I still don't. Time. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I just don't yeah, like yeah. the fact that he's still getting he's still getting that same treatment from last year. He makes one or two mistakes, he gets pulled. Bro, we watch our, yeah. our current new all-star make 10 to 7 mistakes, and you still keep him in the game. Like, come on, oh, bro. Man. Give the same yeah. treatment. I don't care what yeah. type of title you got. If you claim that all you care about is winning, you should be able to tell your best player, like, yo, you ain't playing good, you sitting down. I get it, you did it that one game, but if you got to keep doing it, keep doing it until you get it right. Like, nah, we got games to win. We got stuff to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we can't, you can't, I feel like you can't show Randall too much love. I get it. You know what I'm saying? He, I, yo, I respect Randall. You got, you have to. Yo, he carried us last year. He took a, a team friendly contract so we could sign more players. So I got nothing but respect for that. Yeah, but definitely. yo, but you, because of that, you can't keep him in the game when he's fucking up. I don't know if I can curse, but when he's fucking up, you know what I mean? It's definitely all good, man. Like, I, I agree with you that. It, I agree with you when it comes to that because it, it just it just doesn't make sense. That's not winning basketball. That's not helping this team win if it's supposed to be team first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even in the sense of RJ, like RJ had it going for like five plus games hitting like 20 plus points going in yeah, and he had around. now he's back in his slump yeah. but it's like yeah. bro when he's back in the slump i get you trying to break him out of it but bro there's four quarters in a game if you can't yeah. get it going in three i'm not waiting on the fourth i'm riding with these hot hands especially if we got to come back bro i'm not i'm not diverting from what's making us get back in this game and they're already popping off and you're gonna take them out Thank yeah, you. Yeah, nah. Mind you, he was already sitting out for so long. You know how long it's going to take a person to get hot again? Like, that, mm, I don't, yeah, I, that's yeah, the yeah, part yeah. that I'm not understanding. And especially if we're yeah, in situations yeah. where nobody's getting killed on defense, there should be no mm. reason why you switched any of them out. Yeah, yeah. And it kills him mentally, too. You take, you know, the guy's feeling it takes him out. Forget, you know, obviously warming up yourself, but mentally, but like, yeah, what the, why are you pulling me? Why are you pulling me for? Maybe, you know, maybe that's a problem. Maybe it's the coach. You know, maybe we have to switch up the coach. I, that, I, you know, I'll tell you right now, if it is 30 games and we're 10 below, I, I would fire him. It's sad, to I think say, it's sad to say it's like a lot of people are going to feel the same way, how, you know, with the remark you just made about firing Tom, because all that's going to show is just that Tom is stuck in his ways. It's like, bro, you have the oh. depth now. This eight, nine, nine rotation lineup you're doing, that's not working. It's not. Yep. It's no, not. but and that's the thing, yo. With the coaches too, if you think about it these days, the coaches that always last are the are now are young guys, Chauncey Billups, who can relate to players, who are willing to change, do those things, or like Popovich, who can just no matter what age he is, no matter who he gets, he'll just relate to you. You know what I mean? 
Definitely. It is. Definitely. You don't have to change. It's like defense, defense, that's it. But, yo, you got to change what you got. Why? Like you said, you hit it perfectly. Why Why pull those guys when they're the one carrying us to put in a dude who's just off who turns the ball over five times? Definitely. And, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, like say he's not changing because just for the fact we shooting all these threes, that's a change yeah. in itself. You know, yeah, he, you know, I don't mean to hate on, but you know what I'm saying. No, nah, no, nah, definitely, definitely. You know what I mean? I just, you got to give Tom credit where it's due. He's still learning, but yeah. at the same yeah. thing, it's like, for you to say you don't want to switch up this lineup yet, it's still time. It's like, what you going to do, wait to the 20 game mark? Because then you're going to contradict yourself back on what you said on your post-conference interview, bro. You just said it. people always say it goes from 10 to 20 to 30. Bro, if you do that, you're going to be living of what you just said you don't want to hear. So I'm not getting mm. Why wait to the 20 game mark, bro? We at we going on game 14 right now. I swear, if we lose this game after this, you better make a lineup change. You better make a lineup change, <laughs> like Tom. Like it's, you're playing it's the yourself. Pacers. It's the Pacers. We got the Pacers tomorrow. Trippy, real quick before we get on the Pacers, before we get on, give me your one through five starting five that you would want to see. Just one through five. Give me it. With, with, with like with me, I right, say we keep the same ten man rotation we got, right? Me yep. personally, this is all I'm doing. I wouldn't even worry about the whole Alice Burks part. I'm just switching two people. Yeah, yep. you're gonna sit there and me, Kimba, you coming to the bench, IQ, you going to start. That's it. Okay. That's that's all I would do. I would do that one little switch just just for the first game, just because IQ no. has been showing that he could defend at a high clip. Now he's showing that he wants to 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 do that aspect with Evan. He's not really getting beat as badly as Kimba is getting beat on yeah, all. Yeah. That's what's yeah. killing us. So yeah, when yeah, Evan yeah. is like, okay, we could play help defense with you. That's not a problem. And then on top of that, you don't have to worry about IQ trying to get everything in motion because he already played with this team already. With Kimba, with him going to the bench, he doesn't have to worry about running the show. That's where D. Rose mm-hmm. comes into play. Let D. Rose run the offense. Kimba, I just need you to attack and kill. He's going to basically yeah, be yeah. IQ's role. There's no, yeah. there's no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, no, no. I like that. I, it, I, I, I like that. I like, like that. Yeah, if you ever feel like IQ was doing something wrong, that's when you pull IQ out and then get Kimba back in the game earlier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I honestly, I like that a lot, actually. You kind of sold me on that, Drip. You kind of sold me on that. Because, uh, you because know, at least with Kimba, we finally got someone that you could give the rock to and you'll score. Just score. You know what I'm saying? We haven't really had that, but he's old. He's you know, no respect for the man, but he's, you got to rest him. You got to rest him, and quickly, a young dude, put him in there, switch off that him and Fournier. I think I, you know what? I like that. That's a definite I like that, fact, man. That's a definite. Now let's just say, like let's just say, you know, hypothetically speaking, we already know, but we just gonna say hypothetically speaking. Uh, Tom decides to go with that lineup for tomorrow for the Pacers. How do you feel we would actually execute in that game if that was a lineup that you know we actually had? All right. So with uh, with Quick in the starting five, so with Quick at the one, the two would be For- Fournier. Yeah, Fournier would, would still be at the two. It'd still be the same regular lineup. It would be Barrett, four Randall, five Robinson. Um, I'll tell you what, man. You you sold me on a trip. I, I would I would want to see that. I actually like that a lot. I I'm not yo, for real. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not just saying like that. I didn't. I, I never like thought it. about that line, but I like that. A fresh young legs there, because you're right. You got to switch up Fournier, and uh, and the other dude. Uh, and it, it, Rose and Kemba get it done, but they need re- rest. They need rest. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta be able to rest. But at the same time, you're there there because yo score get me a basket. I think actually to be nice, I think it'd be good. Because the I, way I look I at it is like this. Say he did that lineup, right? Quickly has the, the chance to start. So with quickly, not only do you get that same dynamic scorer that you have in Kimba, you just get a younger version of him. You get what I'm saying? That has better knees to where you know for a fact you don't have to worry about him getting killed on defense like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, quickly yeah, yeah. going to pick up on defense. With Evan, with quickly being there, he's going to actually open up the floor a little bit more 
than what Kimba can do for actual Evan and RJ, right? Now, mm-hmm. the reason why I say that is because of why. This guy can pull a floater from damn near free throw line. So with that floater game, at least coming from the free throw line, look at how many, look at how all three of your shooters now open up the floor even more, right? And on top of that, he's a quicker guard at the moment for the fact he doesn't have any problems with his knees or anything like that or the matter. Now, when you go to the bench, let's talk about NBA benches nowadays. Most benches can't hang. So now if you got D Rose and Kimba coming off your bench, you already got a double team, both of them. I mean, you yeah, got Alex so. Burks to do what he want. I'm um, liking got, it. Got I'm liking Topper it. to do whatever he want. Win. And then you got Noel to do whatever he want. You get what I'm saying? So there's, yeah. so there, there's automatic, you got to figure out what you're going to do. Because either, either Kimba going to go by you, D Rose going to go by you, one of them going to shoot your lights out. You got to stay on point with both of them. When you look at the starting lineup now, it's more so, dang, I know if Kimba's cold, we know he cold. You, We basically like, the way I like to look at it, the way Kimba's been playing and the way Evans always played as an NBA player, mm-hmm. he's a great player, but that's like yeah, having two J.R. Smiths in the starting lineup. We can't have yeah, two people oh, going God. cold all the time. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> like, no, you can't. not that. good. So I nah, think you no, get no, the, no, 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 no. Yeah, at least you get the quick in there. I thought of two J.R. Smiths <laughs> playing, mm-hmm. playing, oh, my God, that'd yeah, be insane. Yeah, <laughs> you can't have that many people going cold, nah. especially if we want to be this whole three-point shooting, just go ahead and yeah. let things fly. But yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's the Pacers. The Pacers tomorrow. What do you think? You think? You think? You think we're gonna get them? Uh, they're a squad. They're a squad. I feel like they're unlocking their potential. I feel like they're they're understanding their players. They're, I feel like you know they're starting to build their own chemistry because remember they just added Karis Levert. You know, yeah, Brogdon yeah. just came back. So they're just mesh. They're starting to mesh well together, and then you know Turner's not hurt now. So it's looking like yeah. a whole different ball game. Sure, um, give me, give me, what, what, what other teams do you like in the? I'm sorry, to switch it up real quick. What other teams do you like in the East? Honestly, I like the whole East, man. The whole East is That's crazy. Team, Honestly, I feel like now. the East is better than the West right now. No, it, it always never was. It was always the East is soft, the West is tough. But yo, we're right there. We're right there. Honestly speaking, I feel like the way the East is set up is showing you that, yo, all you old timers, it's time to pack it up, bro. It's a new game. It's yeah, a new game. Because think about yeah, it. All of, the West got all the old, old like, got all the old yo. ones now. <laughs> Shit, yo, that's that's so true. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, the, the West is like, yo, yo, that's so funny. That's so true. The West is like the old timers. The East, all the young dudes balling are in the East. Mm-hmm. Beal, Beal turns a bone is a bonus. Right? All of a man. You're right. The West <laughs> <is> on the <laughs> East. Trey Young, all those dudes. Yeah, yep. that's so funny. And then the only <laughs> like the only ones that you know try to be like you know what? Let me go ahead and chase this chip. Is the old heads that come to the East because they know like yo, bro, if you want to make it now, you need these fresh legs, man. <laughs> you need yeah. these fresh yep. legs. Yeah, yo, because like, you want the Lakers. Yo, those dudes. They're nasty, but yo, they got old legs. They got old legs. We're trying to do it together. Yo, I, I don't think they're gonna win it. I really don't. You know what's the crazy part? And this is like jumping the gum. I mean, jumping the gum, jumping the gun a little bit. Yeah. But I'm looking at a, like a current like little schedule. It's saying we got the Lakers on the 23rd. So we could just go ahead and jump right now. How you yeah. feeling about that game on the Ooh, 23rd? Yeah. We got the yeah. Lakers, and it's a TNT I game. Like I like you, Trip. How do I feel about it? I'll tell you what, man. I, I think it's a winnable game. I really do. The, the Lakers, man, yo, they're old. They're older dudes. Russell, there's only one ball. Yo, Russell, AD, and LeBron, they're old. They don't mesh. They don't mesh. And the people they got around them, too, Malik Monk, he's all right. But, yo, Russell turns the ball over more now more than ever. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like an AD, AD is the key with them. I think AD is the key because he's the one who at least goes out and he may get hurt, but he'll put up buckets no matter what. Nah. Russell, he's sometimes in his own head. And LeBron, he, LeBron's getting old. I love LeBron. I, you know, 
we're not going to get here. But I think LeBron's the best of all time. Well, we, we, we won't touch on that trip. Yeah, we'll on that I, don't know to say, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, 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 yeah, you know, I know that going for another hour, but we'll just stop that right there. Save it for next time. But LeBron, he's just up there, man. He needs that rest too. I don't know, do man. Think? Like when it comes to them, I feel like the key to that team, of course, besides you know, you need LeBron there, but it's not even AD Russ. The key to their team is Carmelo Anthony because it seems like they only win a game when that guy is scoring twenty plus. That's the only time they really legitimately beating somebody. So. I'm telling y'all, if they really want to win, yeah. LeBron needs mm-hmm. to make a like legit GM call and say, look, mm-hmm. I need Rondo in the starting lineup. Westbrook, I need you and Melo to kill everybody on the bench. That's the way yeah. that they should have did it. I don't know why Westbrook is starting over Rondo. It just makes no sense. Ooh, yo, I-, I swear I see a lot of players that I swear can ball and they ride the pine. Like, yo, Rondo can ball. Yo, if, he, if he's in a starting five, he's going to get you, okay, maybe 10 points, but he can drop 15, 16 dimes on a bad day. I don't understand why he doesn't f- facilitate out there. Russell, Russell, he, he's just too quick sometimes. I need a little break from that. Rondo's key. Like, I, I agree with that, man. He, but he rides the pine. Like, I, I, I feel like I have a lot of players. <laughs> I, I feel like a lot of players get just back to us. I can't even think of one right now, but I, I have thought about that. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. But when that game on the 23rd happens, I'm looking to see the battle of D Rose and Mello, like the two six men mm-hmm. going at it. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. they both got to prove a point. And I feel like they're going to go head to head when it comes to, you know, that the whole finalist for six man of the year. So in between Mello and D Rose. Don't forget where Randall came from. Don't forget where Randall came from. Yeah, you know he's gonna have his battle with you know, Anthony uh, Davis regardless. I, I, I think he's gonna pop off. I think he, I think I'll I'll tell you right now, Randall is. I'll tell you right now, Randall's going twenty and twenty that game. Hey, I would love to see that. You know, it's crazy though. Let's keep that in mind. I'm, I'm telling you right now, he's gonna go twenty and twenty. The matchup that I want to see, and I hope LeBron is healthy, with the fact that RJ is supposed to defend the best player on their team that means we're going to see a matchup of rj and lebron james i'm ready yeah. to see can rj stand to the challenge that is your test yo he's rising the occasion i mean yo he's really he's really like we drafted him when he started i was real has down you know i don't know really what we had here but he's really you can tell he put in the work and yo he guards Guards to forwards, best one every single night. So I think that's a great, great, great matchup right there. And I'm telling you, if yo, if he if he locks down, I'm telling you, man, I like quickly what you said before, moving into the one. I really like that idea, man. I'm telling you, Trip, I think that's a great move. Get Tibbs on the phone, like, right now. That I like that. Man, I've been no. trying to hit him up on everything so far. You can't find no accounts. I'm not the guy that to go to, like, World Wide West. Like, yo, West, uh, Brody, uh, Brody, uh, I need you to tell Tom to pull the trigger, okay? Pull the trigger. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yo, real quick, I was just talking to my old man when I was little. Real side mm-hmm. story, real quick. I had a Jerry Rice card. I had his, the stadium address in a book. I sent the card to him. Yo, I never got it back. When I was a little kid. I called the stadium and I was like, yo, I want to talk to Jerry Rice. I was going to get on the phone, but I was like, yo, I sent him my card. I want it back. <laughs> and he didn't sign it. Yo, two weeks later, I got the card back and a signed picture from Jerry Rice. That's hard. That's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. That's you a that like real collectible item to where even Jerry Rice was like, nah. Where you get this at? I don't even got this card. Where you get this one? <laughs> he had to, because how you how you send it, but you never got it back. Yeah, that's fire though. But they did right. Yeah, they definitely did right. But yo, that's that's a quick little side story. But yo, but on the real, someone does need to get with Tibbs and, and tell him that because I like that move a lot. I, I, I yo, for real, I'm not just saying. It. I think quickly moving into one, I think that could change our team. I really it do. Really Young can. Man, it really can. On the bank, keep the rest of the starting five. Like, I, once again, I think that one thing we need is a center, but I like that move a lot. I do. Because the only other way this is working is if – the only other way is going to work with the starting lineup, you either got to let – you got to switch quickly with Kimba or you got to switch Burks with, with uh, Fournier. One of them two – one of them two got to switch up. You got to yeah. switch one or the other. Like, yep. and, and, and Tom is like, okay, I want to keep giving them time. But, bro, 
by the time we get to this next Chicago game, so that means we got the Pacers tomorrow. Then yep. we got Orlando on the seventeenth. Right, I think so that's, that's a win. That's I would think that's a win. So that the next game, our next game is going to be that Friday or that Saturday on the twentieth against Houston. Because the game after that is the 21st against Chicago. Then the 23rd is the Lakers. Bro, you got no chances for time no more, Tom. You basically yeah. got to figure it out between the Pacers game and this Orlando game. Or, or if you want to take it anywhere longer with time, the last game you got to figure out the starting lineup is that Houston game on the 20th. After that, you it ain't no more figure it out. You better have yeah. it figured out. I'll tell you what, I'll, 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 I'll give you I'll give you to that Chicago game. You're right. Once again, time. And you're right. After that, if it's not figured out, something's got to give big time. That's a big fact, man. I, but- I, I think that's key. I think exactly what we're talking about is key. And it, yo, wait a minute, whether it's Tibbs or someone just seriously decreases their minutes, he takes away someone's minutes or some, something like that. Because, how, like you said, how much time you need? How much time? We don't got all that time. We don't, man. We yeah. don't. And I feel like just going to the Houston game on November 20th is, is more than enough. Like, it's more than enough. Yeah. Like, you, 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 that's almost what? We, where we at? Game 14. So, Pacers is 14. Orlando is what? 15. Houston yeah. is. All right, that's game 16. That's enough. You don't need no more. We're not more that we're talking about. Especially when, when you got games, like I said, Chicago and LA. Those are your next two games after Houston. Two games that we need to win, even though we lost all these games, we need to win all these games now. Now, now we need yeah. to make up for games we lost. So it's like, yo, that's key too. I'm sorry to cut you off. We gotta beat teams that we gotta beat. Yo, Houston's a win. Orlando, that's gotta be a win. You gotta beat those teams. Even the Pacers you know should be a win. Even the, it should be. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, it should be a win. But if we lost, you know, not nah, right now. We should beat them right now. We should have a little heart after coming off the losses. And yeah. go in there and want to handle some business. If it's like you know twenty games from now and it's a, you know middle of the season, I can understand they knock us off. But teams like Chicago, uh, Chicago sorry, Houston, Orlando, really even Charlotte too. We gotta beat those teams. You know, I, like I said before, I kind of contradict myself. I get it; it is the NBA, but come on, you gotta beat those teams. It's crazy too because we do better so far when we're on the road, but when we're home. We can't win nothing now. And mind you, Orlando, Houston, and Chicago is all at home. We Ooh. better win those games Ooh, out. Because if you can't protect Ooh, the garden, good. if we can't protect yeah, the garden, winning on the road, road means nothing. Yo, if you can't protect the garden, switch it all up. Switch it all up. I, I, I don't I don't get down like that. Come on. We can't, you can't, you, you cannot, you cannot be the New York Knicks, play at the garden and have a better road record than your home record. You can't have that. That's how it is right now. It's the Mecca, baby. It's the Mecca. You, like you said, you got to protect the garden, man. Come on. You feel me? But let's mm-hmm. see what Tom does, man. Let's just see what yeah. Tom do, man. Other than that, I thank you for joining. It was super lit. You know you got to come back on board because we got to oh, – I got to see what you was talking about with this greatest of all time thing. Like, we we, we oh, getting back on board with that. You know, that. Touch on that. You, know, <laughs> I, you know, that conversation would have went for another hour. You would have had about two weeks of podcast probably if we went down that road. That's a but fact. We'll get out the next time. That's we'll get out the next time. But, yo, you already know. We got to get in tune. Make sure y'all tune in. And for those who don't know, before we check out, man, Got new shows all lined up, fan to fan talk series, NBA source with my guy Willie Will. Got another show coming out, but I gotta wait on that. Of course, the pod itself, Venture Season Network. We working on this side. Get in tune. You got dope the fiend on AK Trippy OG. Shout outs to my guy Juan from CT. Tune in. Yeah, in. Sir. It's super lit. Make sure I get in tune with everything that we do. We here, we lit. It's the Knicks side on this side, man. Turn up, Tom. Get it together. That's right, baby. (laughs) (laughs) All right, bro.